Visya fava, also known in the culinary sense as the broad bean, fava bean, or fava bean is a species of flowering plant in the pea and bean family Fabaceae. It is of uncertain origin and widely cultivated as a crop for human consumption. It is also used as a cover crop, the bell bean, which has smaller beans. Varieties with smaller, harder seeds that are fed to horses or other animals are called field bean, tick bean or tick bean. Horse bean, Visia faba var, equina pers, is a variety recognized as an accepted name. Some people suffer from favism, a hemolytic response to the consumption of broad beans, a condition linked to G6PDD. Otherwise, the beans, with the outer seed coat removed, can be eaten raw or cooked. In young plants, the outer seed coat can be eaten, and in very young plants, the seed pod can be eaten. Description Visia faba is a stiffly erect plant 0.5 to 1.8 meters (1.6 to 5.9 feet) tall, with stems that are square in cross section. The leaves are 10 to 25 centimeters (3.9 to 9.8 in) long, pinnate with two to seven leaflets, and colored a distinct glaucus (Latin: glaucus) gray-green color. Unlike most other vetches, the leaves do not have tendrils for climbing over other vegetation. The flowers are 1 to 2.5 cm to in long with five petals, the standard petals are white, the wing petals are white with a black spot true black, not deep purple or blue as is the case in many «black» colorings and the keel petals are white. Crimson-flowered broad beans also exist, which were recently saved from extinction. The flowers have a strong sweet scent which is attractive to bees and other pollinators. The fruit is a broad, leathery pod that is green, but matures to a dark blackish brown, with a densely downy surface. The wild species has pods that are 5 to 10 cm in long and 1 cm diameter, but many modern cultivars developed for food use have pods 15 to 25 cm 5.9 to 9.8 in long and 2 to 3 cm thick. Each bean pod contains 3 to 8 seeds that are round to oval and have a 5 to 10 mm diameter in the wild plant, but are usually flattened and up to 20 to 25 mm long, 15 mm broad and 5 to 10 mm thick in food cultivars. V. faba has a diploid chromosome number of 12 six homologous pairs. Five pairs are acrocentric chromosomes and one pair is metacentric. Cultivation Broad beans have a long tradition of cultivation in Old World agriculture, being among the most ancient plants in cultivation and also among the easiest to grow. Along with lentils, peas, and chickpeas, they are believed to have become part of the Eastern Mediterranean diet around 6000 BCE or earlier. They are still often grown as a cover crop to prevent erosion because they can overwinter and, as a legume, they fix nitrogen in the soil. The broad bean has high plant hardiness, it can withstand harsh and cold climates. Unlike most legumes, the broad bean can be grown in soils with high salinity, as well as in clay soil. However, it prefers rich loams. In much of the English-speaking world, the name, broad bean, is used for the large seeded cultivars grown for human food, while horse bean and field bean refer to cultivars with smaller, harder seeds that are more like the wild species and used for animal feed, though their stronger flavor is preferred in some human food recipes, such as falafel. The term fava bean from Italian, fava for the bean, is used in some English speaking countries such as the US, but broad bean is the most common name in the UK and Australia and New Zealand. <laughs> Pests and diseases Broad bean plants are highly susceptible to early summer infestations of the black bean aphid, which can cover large sections of growing plants with infestations, typically starting at the tip of the plant. Severe infestations can significantly reduce yields, and can also cause discoloration of pods and reduction in their saleable values. Faba bean rust is a fungal pathogen commonly affecting broad bean plants at maturity, causing small orange dots with yellow halos on the leaves, which may merge to form an orange lawn on both leaf surfaces. Beans are also attacked by chocolate spot fungus, which can have a severe impact on yield. 
In mainland Europe and North Africa, the plant parasite Orobanche crinata carnation -scented broom rape can cause severe impacts on fields of broad beans, devastating their yields. Culinary uses Broad beans are generally eaten while still young and tender, enabling harvesting to begin as early as the middle of spring for plants started under glass or overwintered in a protected location, but even the main crop sown in early spring will be ready from mid to late summer. Horse beans, left to mature fully, are usually harvested in the late autumn, and are then eaten as a pulse. The immature pods are also cooked and eaten, and the young leaves of the plant can also be eaten, either raw or cooked as a pot herb like spinach. Broad beans were a major food of old Mediterranean civilizations, particularly for the Romans and Greeks. Preparing broad beans involves first removing the beans from their pods, then steaming or boiling the beans, either whole or after parboiling them to loosen their exterior coating, which is then removed. The beans can be fried, causing the skin to split open, and then salted and or spiced to produce a savory, crunchy snack. These are popular in China, Malaysia, Colombia, Peru habas saladas, Guatemala habas, Mexico habas con chili, Gilan north of Iran and Thailand where their name means, "...open mouth nut". In some Arab countries, the fava bean is used for a breakfast dish called full medames. Fava beans are common in Latin American cuisines, as well. In central Mexico, mashed fava beans are a common filling for many corn flour based on tojito snacks such as lacoyos. In Colombia, they are most often used whole in vegetable soups. Dried and salted fava beans are a popular snack in many Latin countries. Broad beans are widely cultivated in the Ketch and Panjshir districts of Baluchistan province in Pakistan, and in the eastern province of Iran. They are called bakalayank in the Balochi language, and bagali in Persian. Algeria In South Algerian cuisine, broad beans are used to make basera and dubara. Dubara is popular in the city of Biskra. China In the Sichuan cuisine of China, broad beans are combined with soybeans and chili peppers to produce a spicy fermented bean paste called dubanjang. Perhaps due to the beans' popularity in Sichuan cuisine, in addition to the regular Chinese terms of silkworm bean, kando kandu, or orchid bean, lan wa do lan wa do, they are also known as Sichuan beans, chuan do chuan do in Chinese. Colombia Fava beans are a common food in most regions of Colombia, mostly in Bogotá and Boyaca. Croatia Fava beans are used mostly in Dalmatia as a part of the traditional dish stuffed artichokes with fava beans and peas. Ecuador Steamed fava beans known as habitas with cheese are common in the cold weather regions of Ecuador, especially around the Andes Mountains and surroundings of Ambato. Egypt Fava beans Arabic, fool full pronounced fuel are a common staple food in the Egyptian diet, eaten by rich and poor alike. Egyptians eat fava beans in various ways, they may be shelled and then dried, bought dried and then cooked by adding water in very low heat for several hours, etc. They are the primary ingredient in falafel. However, the most popular way of preparing them in Egypt is by taking the mashed, cooked beans and adding oil, salt and cumin to them. The dish, known as full medames, is traditionally eaten with bread, generally at breakfast, and is considered the Egyptian national dish. Topic: <inaudible> Ethiopia. Broad beans, Amharic are one of the most popular legumes in Ethiopia. They are tightly coupled with every aspect of Ethiopian life. 
They are mainly used as an alternative to peas to prepare a flour called shiro, which is used to make shiro wat a stew almost ubiquitous in Ethiopian dishes. During the fasting period in the Ethiopian Orthodox Church tradition called Som Filizeta, Som Arbia, Som Tosses, and Som Hawaria which are in August, end of February to April, mid-November beginning of January and June to July, two uncooked spicy vegetable dishes are made using broad beans. The first is hilibet, a thin, white paste of broad bean flour mixed with pieces of onion, green pepper, garlic, and other spices based on personal taste. The second is silho, a fermented, sour, spicy thin yellow paste of broad bean flour. Both are served with other stews and injera a pancake -like bread during lunch and dinner. Bakela nifro boiled broad beans are eaten as a snack during some holidays and during a time of mourning. This tradition goes well into religious holidays, too. On the Thursday before Good Friday, in the Ethiopian Orthodox Church tradition Selot Hamas the prayer of Thursday, people eat a different kind of nephro called gulban. Gulban is made of peeled, half beans collected and well cooked with other grains such as wheat, peas and chickpeas. This is done to mourn the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Bokulet boiled salted broad beans embryo is one of the most favorite snacks in the evening, the common story telling time in North and Central Ethiopia. It is particularly a favorite for the storyteller, usually a society elder, as it is delicious and easy to chew and swallow. Ripe broad beans are eaten by passersby. Besides that, they are one of the gift items from a countryside relative in a period close to the Ethiopian Epiphany. Topic: <laughs> Greece. The Greek word fava does not refer to broad beans, but to the yellow split pea and also to another legume, known as Lathyrus sativus. Broad beans are known instead as kukia Greek, kukia and are eaten in a stew combined with artichokes, while they are still fresh in their pods. Dried broad beans are eaten boiled, sometimes combined with garlic sauce In Crete, fresh broad beans are shelled and eaten as a companion to sakudia, the local alcoholic drink. Favism is quite common in Greece because of malaria endemicity in previous centuries, and people afflicted by it do not eat broad beans. <inaudible> India In India, fava beans are eaten in the northeastern state of Manipur. They are locally known as Hawaii amubi and are ingredients in the dish aromba. Iran Broad beans, or Bagali, Persian, Bakali are primarily cultivated in the central and north parts of Iran. The city of Kashan has the highest production of broad beans with high quality in terms of the taste, cooking periods and color. However, broad beans have a very short season roughly two weeks. The season is usually in the middle of spring. When people have access to fresh beans in season, they cook them in brine and then add vinegar and Heracleum persicum depending on taste. They also make an extra amount to dry to be used year-round. The dried beans can be cooked with rice, which forms one of the most famous dishes in north of Iran gilin, called bagali polo Persian, bakali plu which means, "...rice with broad beans". In Iran broad beans are cooked, served with golpar oregon and salt and sold on streets in the winter. This food is also available preserved in metal cans. Iraq Broad beans which are called bagilla, bagel bak in the Iraqi dialect of Arabic are a common ingredient in many Iraqi foods. One of the most popular Iraqi dishes that uses the broad bean is bagilla bil dihan bagel baldin also called tishri bagilla. This dish is a common breakfast dish in Iraq and consists of bread soaked in boiled broad beans water then topped with broad beans, melted ghee, and often also a boiled or fried egg. Fool, fool is another common breakfast dish in Iraq as well as many other Arab countries and consists of mashed fava beans. Another famous Iraqi dish is timin bagilla, tmn bagel which is Arabic for broad bean rice. This classic Iraqi dish consists of rice cooked with broad bean and dill. Italy 
In Rome, Italy, fava beans are popular either cooked with guanciale or with globe artichokes, as side dish together with lamb or kid, or raw with pecorino romano. Fave e pecorino is the traditional dish for the 1st of May picnic in Tuscany, Umbria and Latium. In Sicily, macu is a Sicilian soup prepared with fava beans as a primary ingredient. In Apulia, broad bean puree with wild chicory is typical dish. Topic: <laughs> Japan. Broad beans called soramame, Japanese sorado lit sky bean, are consumed in a variety of ways in Japan. Most commonly, the beans are boiled and are eaten straight or added to rice. It is also consumed as a popular snack called akarimame Japanese, akari do lit, anchor bean, where the beans are roasted or fried. <laughs> Luxembourg Judd mat gardabonin, or smoked collar of pork with broad beans, is the national dish of Luxembourg. Malta They are a primary ingredient of the Maltese kusksu, a vegetable soup primarily containing fava beans and pasta beads. They are also used in a popular appetizer called bigula where they are served as a puree mixed with olive oil, lemon juice, garlic, parsley and mint. It is served with bread or crackers and is the Maltese answer to hummus. Mexico In Mexico, fava beans are often eaten in a soup called sopa de habas, meaning, fava soup. They are also eaten as a snack, in which they are fried, salted, and dried. They are either by themselves as a snack or in combination with other salted, dried beans and nuts. Morocco. In Morocco, fava beans are made into besara, a dip sold as a street food. Nepal In Nepal, fava beans are called bakula. They are eaten as a green vegetable when the pods are young, generally stir-fried with garlic. When dried, fava beans are even roasted, or mixed with other legumes, such as mung beans, chick peas, and peas, and called qwati. The mixture, soaked and germinated, is cooked as soup and consumed with rice or beaten rice on the occasion of Janai Purnima also known as Raksha Bundan, a festival celebrated by the Hindus. The dry and stir-fried version of qwati is called bairala. The qwati soup is believed to reinvigorate the body affected by monsoon paddy season. Netherlands In the Netherlands, they are traditionally eaten with fresh savoury and some melted butter. The combination of the beans tossed with crispy fried bacon is also common. When rubbed, the velvet insides of the pods are a folk remedy against warts. Peru Fava beans Peru, habas, are eaten fresh or dried as stew, toasted, boiled, roasted, stewed, soup etc. Habas are one of the essential ingredients of the famous pachamanca in the Andes of Peru, and are also an additive for panatella, which is a homemade remedy to keep your child fed and hydrated in cases of diarrhea or stomach infection and even for cholera treatment. To make panatella combine and roast a cup of fava bean habas, barley, corn, wheat, rice and, or beans without allowing it to burn, add a cup of water, a carrot cut into pieces and a pinch of salt until fully cooked, drain, add water until it reaches a liter and boil one last time. For babies only the fluid is used. Peruvian dishes with fava beans include Aji de habas Saltado de habas El chupe de habas Agiaco de papas y habas, Pachamanca, Guso de habas, Shambar, heavy soup, traditional in Trujillo. Topic: Portugal. 
Fava beans Portuguese, favas, is widely cultivated in Portugal and are very popular throughout the country. The most popular dish cooked with favas is favada, a stew with onion and pork. Depending on the region of the country, the pork may be chorizo, bacon, pork shoulder, ribs, or the mixture of many of these. In Alentejo, a lot of coriander will be added in the end. Besides favada, fava beans may be served dry and fried as an appetizer. Spain Broad beans Spanish, habas, are widely cultivated in Spain. Culinary uses vary among regions, but they can be used as the main pulse in a stew thibata, habas estofadas, michirones, or as an addition to other dishes minestra, paella. In certain regions they can be eaten while unripe or fried and packaged as a snack. Sudan Fava beans are one of the most widely consumed foods in Sudan. For most Sudanese they form the main dish during lunchtime especially more so for city and urban dwellers. The beans are cooked by steadily boiling over a sustained period of time. Similar to Egypt, the cooked beans are mashed, and prepared by adding salt and pepper. For additional flavor, sesame oil is added along with a sprinkling of jibna feta cheese on top. The dish is then eaten with bread and is sometimes refereed to as full medames. Sweden Broad beans Swedish, bonboner, literally, farmer beans, which in Sweden were traditionally eaten as soaked brown and boiled dried broad beans fried in lard, were for a very long time popular to add to other foods as a filling side, especially with fried pork. The green raw and lightly boiled broad beans were only used seasonally as a side green. It almost disappeared from Swedish plates in the 70s during a time of rapid increase in expectations of food quality and variety, and changes in food habits. However, since the 2000s, broad beans have made a comeback, partly as healthy, locally grown produce, but even more because of an increased interest in legumes, vegetarianism, healthy foods, but also a general greater curiosity about food in general, including a renewed interest in forgotten traditional foods of Sweden, as well as the increased popularity of foreign food, especially Middle Eastern food, among Swedes, but even more among immigrants from North Africa and the Middle East especially in the Egyptian, Sudanese dish full medames, full MDMs full medumas, full medamas or full medames, or as an ingredient in Egyptian and Gaza-style falafel, which often contains broad beans instead of chickpeas, or both, which has lately become one of the most popular fast foods in Sweden. Syria In Syria, broad beans are prepared in multiple ways for breakfast, lunch or dinner. Full medames is the same as the Egyptian dish it is not mashed though, but with the addition of tomato, parsley and onion and with olive oil. Another version of it includes the addition of tahini sesame paste, olive oil, garlic and lemon. For lunch, broad beans are cooked with a mix of minced and big chunks of meat and is topped on white rice and eaten with cold yogurt and cucumber salad. Bulgur is sometimes used in preparing this recipe instead of rice. Broad beans are cooked with pieces of garlic, meat and meat stock with the addition of lemon juice and cilantro. This dish is called faule and is eaten on the side with rice. Same recipe is prepared without meat as a vegan dish eaten on Lent by Christians in Syria. Turkey In Turkey, broad beans are called bakla. This is also the name of a zeytinyali dish made by simmering young and tender broad bean pods with chopped onions in olive oil. It is traditionally garnished with dill and served cool, together with yogurt. Another popular dish is fava, a mise prepared by soaking and boiling shelled dried broad beans until soft and then pureeing with olive oil and optionally fresh dill. The puree is left to set overnight, and served cold, garnished with dill and slices of lemon. Nutritional information Raw mature fava beans are 11% water, 58% carbohydrates, 26% protein, and 2% fat. 
A 100 gram reference amount supplies 341 calories and numerous essential nutrients in high content, 20% or more of the daily value (DV). Folate 106% DV and dietary minerals such as manganese, phosphorus, magnesium and iron range of DV 52 to 77% have considerable content table B vitamins have moderate to rich content 19 to 48% DV Topic health concerns Sufferers of favism must avoid broad beans, since these trigger a hemolytic crisis. Broad beans are rich in tyramine, and thus should be avoided by those taking monoamine oxidase inhibitors. Other uses In ancient Greece and Rome, beans were used in voting, a white bean was used to cast a yes vote, and a black bean for no even today. The word kukia is used unofficially, referring to the votes. Beans were used as a food for the dead, such as during the annual Lemuria festival. The ancient Roman family name Fabia and the modern political term Fabian derive from this particular bean. The Pythagorean code prohibited the consumption or even touching of any sort of bean. In Ubik culture, throwing beans on the ground and interpreting the pattern in which they fall was a common method of divination and the word for bean thrower in that language has become a generic term for seers and soothsayers in general. The colloquial expression not worth a hill of beans alludes to their widespread economy and association with the peasant diet. In Italy, broad beans are traditionally sown on November 2, All Souls Day. Small cakes made in the shape of broad beans though not out of them are known as fave dei morti or beans of the dead. According to tradition, Sicily once experienced a failure of all crops other than the beans. The beans kept the population from starvation and thanks were given to Saint Joseph. Broad beans subsequently became traditional on St. Joseph's Day altars in many Italian communities. Some people carry a broad bean for good luck, some believe that if one carries a broad bean, one will never be without the essentials of life. In Rome, on 1 May, Roman families traditionally eat fresh fava beans with pecorino romano cheese during a daily excursion in the Campania. In northern Italy, on the contrary, fava beans are traditionally fed to animals and some people, especially the elderly, might frown on human consumption. But in Liguria, a maritime region near northern Italy, fava beans are loved raw, and consumed fresh in early spring as the first product of the garden, alone or with fresh pecorino sardo or with local salami from Santolcesi. In some central Italian regions, a once popular and recently rediscovered fancy food is the bagiana, a soup of fresh or dried fava beans seasoned with onions and beet leaves stir-fried, before being added to the soup, in olive oil and lard or bacon or cured ham fat. In Portugal and Spain a Christmas cake called bolo rey in Portuguese and roscan de reyes in Spanish King's cake is baked with a fava bean inside. Whoever eats the slice containing it, is supposed to buy next year's cake. A similar tradition exists in France, where the fève originally a dried bean, but often now a small china or metal trinket is placed in the galette des rois, the person who finds it in their slice becomes the king or queen of the meal, and is often expected to serve the other guests to drink. Pliny claimed they acted as a laxative. European folklore also claims that planting beans on Good Friday or during the night brings good luck. Frederick E. Rose London Limited v. William H. Pym, Jr. & Co. Ltd. 1953 2 QB 450, is an English contract law case where the two litigants had both mistaken feveroles for ordinary horse beans. Can be used as a green manure, due to nitrogen fixation it produces. In the Netherlands, roasted or fried broad beans are regarded as a local delicacy of the city of Groningen, and is locally called Malaboon. Until the 1800s, the city council used malbanon for the voting process, sometimes real beans, sometimes made of stone or clay. The word malaboon became a nickname for the inhabitants of the city. See also Phytoremediation plants List of hyperaccumulators List of edible seeds <laughs>